Shalom, shalom. This is your brother Wasil Bay. And this is Sham Stoppers. Title of this video Did a woman sign the Constitution? Did a woman sign the Constitution? Huh? I like to stay for the record. Not just stay for the record. I just, just let the record show and let this record reflect that this ain't a sovereign citizen movement, anti government, uh, conspiracy theorists, none of that mumbo jumbo bullshit. We only deal with reality and common sense. Reality and common sense, all right? Did a woman sign the Constitution? And I want to ask you numbness. So why y'all going to jail? Why y'all letting women sit at the top and judge you? And the Bible strictly says a woman does not have authority over a man. I like to say about the podcast, thanks for all the guys that came in and had the guts, the nuts to um, get on the podcast. Um, Y'all gonna hear the young bull on the podcast. He gonna get on there, he tear some shit up. He gonna get on there and rip it. But uh, just ask yourself, we gonna talk about uh, Sheila Jackson. She's originally from New York. But move her ass down here in Texas, all right? And she represents District 18 in H-Town where they have most of the strippers and uh, butt-naked clubs at and around that district. You know what I'm saying? And now we're going to talk about these hoes, how they trying to come up with rape lawsuits. They going to wait to 30 years. When they see a man hit the scene. Because men are waking up and we ain't taking no more shit. Alright? Listen to this shit. How she trying to grill this man. Over lying on Trump talking about he done fuck some women. They gonna come out and say that shit to after he get the presidency. That's how a bitch do. You know what I'm saying? They wanna wait and try to ruin you. Because it's in their nature. It's that Eve nature. Evil. That. After the investigation. Thank you very much, Mr. Deputy Attorney General. Uh, let me then go forward with the question of the protection of the special prosecutor. Sorry about that, people. Sorry about that shit. God damn. Computer. Do you have in place a protection scheme or system that would void? A potential Saturday night massacre do you in fact have the authority to stand up against the president who uh, is putting out uh, the right-wing media to taint the Mueller uh, investigation will you protect mr. Mueller if he deserves the protection and has done nothing to violate his duties and responsibilities as I've explained, if he hasn't violated is his that duties... I yes or no mr. deputy attorney general I, I, I won't take any action unless he's violated his duties uh, let me show you uh, these uh, individuals here. Uh, it says that the Trump accusers uh, want a day in court or at least want to be heard. The president is the chief executive and law enforcement officer. Now, the bitch want to be heard in court. Well, what about you, fellas? What about you getting your money back? Huh? What about you getting your money back? We, we can give you what you want. Dismissal, termination, all that shit. We give you, we give you validation. It's about money. Hit us up, man. You want to get that money back. And look at this woman, man. Did a woman sign the Constitution? Hell no. Let me show you how dumb this woman is. And this was in 2014. Alright? 
And she said the Constitution is 400 years old. For giving us an opportunity to have a deliberative constitutional discussion that reinforces the sanctity of this nation and how well it is that we have lasted some 400 years operating under a constitution that clearly defines. You heard what she just said, operating under a constitution for 400 years. See what I mean? You see what the fuck I mean? You got women who don't know, and she went to Yale too, that's, that's, and check this out, she said she's an African-American woman. Okay, well we about to see if you're an African-American woman. All right, I'm going to your bio, right? Nationality, I'm gonna let y'all see that. Nationality. American, do it say African-American? No, it does not. She's an American. She's an American. That's what she says she is. This is a full bio. I'm going to show you how she's strictly for women, not men. We finna read. So I'm going to see how, how she done played a lot of folks in Houston. Well, mainly men. You see it? Read that. Look at that. Y'all see that? Let me go get my meat stick for some of you meatheads who still don't know what the fuck going on. Where my shit at? Nah, let me get my goddamn one. Oh, that got my, that got my meat stick. Let me get my meat stick. Let me get my meat stick. You see that? She represents the 18th Congressional District of Texas entering in Houston, which is the energy capital of the world. Did y'all know that? Considered by many the voice of reason, she is dedicated to upholding the constitutional rights of all people. What well, we finna see about that shit. She upholds the constitutional rights for women, fellas, child support. She never talks about child support. She never talks about getting niggas out of jail for child support. Men, she's a lie. It says the rights of all people. All who people? All her people. All her people. Women didn't sign the Constitution, fellas. You need to have your nuts. Get your nuts. All right? She sits on three congressional committees as a senior member of the House of Committees on Judiciary, Homeland Security, newly appointed by the leadership member of the Crucial Budget Committee. She is currently the first female ranking member of the Judiciary Subcommittee on Crime, Terrorism, let's see, Homeland Security and Investigation, and is leading the way on criminal justice reform through groundbreaking legislation including sentencing reform act sentencing who y'all ass when y'all get in there for child support throw y'all ass in jail law enforcement trust okay she entrusted the law enforcement to come get y'all ass with the warrant and the integrity act the the raise act the fair See the fair go down chance of youth act right Khalif's law the American Rising Act of 2015 she has also introduced several bills introducing the juvenile account juvenile accountability block grant reauthorized and bullying prevention and intervention act HR 71 the Federal Prison Bureau Nonviolent Offender Relief Act of 2015. How many niggas been getting out of federal court? I mean, federal penitentiary. Look at that. To reduce prison overcrowding by developing and implementing lawful policies relating to requests of executive clemency for deserving petitioners. And what do we tell you what a petitioner is? You begging for freedom. Right? Why you gonna beg for something? And you gonna ask to be let out if you didn't do anything? Come on, man. She is a champion for women 
and children supporting the Paycheck Fairness Act. What I tell you? Child support to take your goddamn paycheck. And the pregnant workers business with respect to business opportunities in commercial space industry author HR 45 triple netiquette net breast cancer research and education act of 2015 you see that you can just read this shit man now when she get done wrong in public she's an African American but without that shit, she's just an American, right? She know how to be part of the people when her ass is in trouble. That's what a bitch do. Look at that. Earned a BA in political science from Yale University with honors in the first graduating class, including females, followed by a JD from the Uni University of Virginia Law School. She is married to Dr. Edwin. Look at that shit, man. I don't see where it says she's an African American, but in the public, uh, she's an African American because African American because she know. Most of you dummies gonna say y'all African American, right? Just be honest. Now check this out. Check this out. Watch how she act a fool. It should. Let this play, man. Watch how she act a goddamn fool. Representative Sheila Jackson Lee has had a career loaded with grandstanding, half-truths, blanketed racism, and sheer hubris. And frankly, maybe I should offer a good thanks to the distinguished members of the majority, uh, the Republicans, my chairman and others, for giving us an opportunity to have a deliberative constitutional discussion that reinforces the sanctity of this nation and how well it is that we have lasted some 400 years. We have lasted some 400 years. Signers Hall, where we are right now, has 42 statues showing you the moment of the signing of the U.S. Constitution. Was it any women in there? Signing the Constitution? Huh? Signing the policy for this corporation? Hell no. Nah. On September 17th, 1787. Operating under a constitution that clearly defines what is constitution. 230 years ago, and she say 400 years. Fellas, you see what happened when you let disobedient women get out and start running their goddamn mouth? What is not? He is incompatible with the office and the leadership of this country. And yes, the idea that his continuous assault on women only uh, compounds the fact that I would ask him, it's a job that he does not seemingly like. Now, I'm going to tell you something. She should be getting more jobs. She should be talking about getting jobs and shit. She should be talking about getting jobs. That's what she should be talking about. She should be talking about getting jobs, man. Women didn't sign the Constitution, fellas. Handle your business. If you need help, hit us up to handle your business. Women didn't sign the Constitution. So why are you letting them lock you up? I ain't say beat your woman. Be good to your woman. If you got one, keep her in check. And if she talking about she don't want to be in check and do all this, don't be obedient, throw her ass out to the wolves. Some wolves get ready to eat her ass. There's going to be some wolves out here. You, you know the wolves is MGTOW. Them some goddamn wolves. So, you know what I'm saying? Uh, it ain't looking good for disobedient women. 
And you beta males, hey fellas, hit us up, 512-663-3815. We're going to do another podcast soon. Peace.